2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross First Look, Simultaneously Edgier and Softer Mitsubishi sharpens some of its small crossovers look while toning down other parts. The Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross is back. You might not have noticed it was gone, but the jauntily styled small crossover skipped the 2021 model year, using the time off to buff up its bod and inherit some new in-cabin tech. In brief, the 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross adopts the same basic set of changes applied to the mechanically related Outlander Sport last year a juicy twist, given how the 2020 Outlander Sport's styling updates were inspired by, get this, the Eclipse Cross. Consider the 2022 Eclipse Cross, then, the natural next extension of the tangled web of crossover between it and the Outlander Sport. Like its more pedestrian sibling, the Eclipse Cross gains chunkier lighting elements in its front bumper, a bolder lower fascia with more body color pieces, and a darkened grille that loses the previous model's bright horizontal slats. Mitsubishi also pinches the 2022 Eclipse Cross's running lights into thinner, apparently fully LED slits. Less apparent are the changes to the Eclipse Cross's tail, which are said to include a fresh hatch design and a new rear window. That isn't to say the updates aren't dramatic. They are. Notice how we mentioned only a new rear window, singular. The new single rear window is so conventional, it's easy to forget it replaces the outgoing Eclipse Cross's wacky dual window setup, which included a thin vertical window on the face of the tailgate, and a larger, steeply raked primary window above it, with the two separated by a full width light bar. Less distinctive, the new treatment which includes a more toned-down lower bumper and larger tail lights, is certainly sleeker than the old model's somewhat clunky setup. All of the styling updates are expected to mostly carry over to the American market, but we should point out that the red and white Eclipse crosses pictured here are Australian market versions. That caveat out of the way, we're told the Mitsu will get a new 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system, along with the slightly revised dashboard you see above. Now. Just imagine the steering wheel on the left side. The new setup appears to address some of our concerns with the prior display, notably its reach from the driver's seat and dated look. The new screen looks snappier and is located lower on the dash and closer to the driver. As a bonus, the touchscreen also sprouts physical volume and tuning knobs while ditching its secondary touchpad controller on the center console. There are no mechanical changes of note. The Eclipse Cross remains powered by a turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder that, while smooth, is a little outmatched by the crossover's heft. It again comes paired to a continuously variable automatic transmission, and all-wheel drive is optionally available. Mitsubishi notes it retuned the suspension, another weak point on the previous model, for improved handling. We'll find out if the changes add to the Eclipse Cross experience when the new Mitsubishi SUV goes on sale at a later date.